And I know what some of you are thinking. We are raising this issue because it affects the news business. Sure it does, but it doesn't end there. It affects everyone, all of you, citizens and governments. The monopoly of big tech poses a danger to everyone. Do you know how many companies these tech giants have swallowed in the last few years? Hundreds. They have been accused of avoiding taxes to the tune of billions of dollars, acquiring smaller players, potentially weeding out any competition. Our next report tells you how tech monopolies are dictating the rules for their business. For four years, the tweets of Donald Trump dictated headlines worldwide. By using Twitter, Trump was able to bypass the traditional media, evade their critical questions, even incite a mob that would storm the U.S. Capitol. Only when big tech took a stand and banned the former president did Donald Trump stop spreading lies about vote rigging. What does this tell you about the power of tech giants? They influence the hearts and minds of voters worldwide. They do not consider themselves the media. They call themselves tech platforms, but they profit from the media. In 2020, the pandemic shut down the world and shuttered many businesses. But big tech firms remained immune to the virus, earning big money from a combination of revenue streams. Tech giants added more than $160 billion to their market value last year. The news industry is bleeding money. According to PricewaterhouseCoopers, the global newspaper industry's combined advertising and circulation revenue will fall drastically from $108 billion in 2019 to $86 billion in 2024. Tech companies are leveraging a major shift in user habits. People turn to social media for breaking news now. And digital news feeds have replaced the front pages of newspapers. How does big tech pull this off? By exploiting loopholes in tax laws. The Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development has made an assessment it believes governments worldwide have lost $240 billion in taxes from big tech. The developing world has suffered the biggest losses. According to NGO Action Aid, Google, Facebook and Microsoft should be paying more corporation tax to developing nations. They are missing out on $2.8 billion in tax revenues. Action Aid says countries like India, Indonesia, Brazil, Nigeria and Bangladesh have the highest tax gaps. Beyond tax avoidance, an acquisition spree has allowed big tech to monopolize the market. Since 2005, Google's parent company Alphabet, Apple, Amazon and Facebook have acquired 385 companies in the US. Alphabet alone has bought out 185 companies. This buying spree had caught the attention of regulators worldwide. With the US Federal Trade Commission, the European Union and Australia's Competition and Consumer Commission scrutinizing the deals. Access to large volumes of free content, outdated tax laws and relentless acquisitions have turned big tech into big media. Global regulators need a new legal toolbox to break their monopoly level the playing field and make tech giants pay. Bureau Report, We On, World Is One. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.